Uh, so Nikki playing Soul up against Cliff the Cliff. Uh, all matches today will be best of three for reference. <laughs> round start? Okay, is this a button check? Or, no? No? Okay, that was actually the round start. What a call out. <laughs> Air Bandit Revolver, just taking the knockdown there. Nikki keeping up the good corner pressure. Ooh, blocks the burst. It doesn't get t anything too crazy off of it. Ah, uh, and yeah, Cliff's, uh, so his jump is super floaty. So Cliff did the, like, the jump back, managed to dodge the DP, but just couldn't get to the ground in time to punish it. Wasn't really confident in what to press in the air to get a good conversion. But with that, Nikki will run up, manage to close out that round. Good old 2D. Oh my gosh. It, Nikki really channeling the inner soul player for sure. Yeah. <laughs> two Volcanic Vipers, two 2Ds, and that was all there was that round so far. But hey, if it's working, right? Soul does have great pressure, of course. Nice 6P. No conversion, though. I don't actually know what Cliff gets off that. I don't know if that's a drop or just one of those 6Ps that is more of a, you know, you won the situation. Advantage neutral. <laughs> and Nikki running over to the corner, going for some, like, fake tick throw setups there. And I think, uh, almost all of those, Cliff could have... I... that missed. <laughs> but I think that Cliff could have done a wake-up throw on, like, four of the Oki situations there. Maybe something to watch out for in the future. It looks like Nikki is maybe not respecting it. Might just be a conditioning setup, though. And one hit here is all either person needs. And yeah, there we go. Cliff has been pretty reliably getting the 6P there, even if he hasn't been able to really convert off of it. Hey, if you just need the one hit, then that's all that counts, right? And even just some like stray hits chaining together does so much damage here. Drill move for sure. All right, can't Grand Viper under the projectile. Good to know. Yeah, how's Nikki gonna get out of this corner? Cliff sitting here at, is this gonna be a perfect? Gets the burst baited. Yeah, this is round three, you gotta do it. Okay, not a perfect. See what Nikki can fire back with. A third help, that's a good way to start for sure. And steals the corner. I guess controls the corner. No sidewinder loops there. Yeah, wasn't quite a clean hit. <laughs> and just the little 2P will mash it out. Cliff, bad guy, taking it. I just realized that uh, Cliff's little title there is Cliff Underson, not Underson. I wonder if that's a typo. Or like one of those uh, ran out of space kind of things. Or if that's actually his name. Alright, moving the fight over to the laboratory and... Uh, Cliff Bad Guy has had some really interesting round starts. I mean, we saw at the very beginning of the game it was the Charge 6H. Uh, interesting that that 2D hits there, obviously it'll completely whiff over any, like, jump or forward-moving thing that Soul has that isn't, I don't know, Grand Viper because it's too slow. I can't say I fully uh, understand the thought process, but hey, it's been working out pretty well for him. <laughs> Cliff, I feel like uh, he keeps getting this really good position covering the corner, and he's able to... Wow, oh, yeah, just the charge overhead there. Um, he's able to convert it very well, but it's almost, rather than like really constricting Nikki, it's like he's backing off and giving her a bunch of options and is just able to correctly call out which one is gonna be coming next. All right, good jump in there from Nikki. Goes for a uh, like, safe jump-ish looking setup. And tick throw, yeah. Doesn't matter if he got hit by it. Oh, but no conversion. 
Yeah, Nikki, uh, I mean, this round, she's doing super well, of course. But there have been a couple times now where it looks like she's getting the setup into Sidewinder loops and just isn't quite able to close it out. We'll see if that ends up coming back to bite her, but for now she just needs one more hit. The Cliff's probably got to watch out for a stray DP or something like that, especially with the 50 meter. Oh my gosh, over that. I'm guessing uh, Cliff pressed a button there and just got the extension hit or something, but... Yeah, that's kind of a wild Grand Viper. Did force out the burst, didn't want too much damage, but hey, with that, Nikki's got some great momentum coming up. Air Bandit Revolver. Ooh, yeah, so she was a little bit off with the uh, the safe jump there. Did whiff through the 6P, but, you know, Cliffs is so slow it just didn't hit her. Good block on the 6H that time. A cliff taking the OTG. Ooh, okay, actually just... Still managed to get knocked down after all. I'm not super familiar with the character, so... Didn't know that that was an option. Oh, I'm curious what that jump from Nikki was trying to bait, or supposed to be. It does manage to take the corner again. Wild throw. Is there gonna be a burst? Yeah, there it comes. Alright, burst on deck for Nikki. None for Cliff, but I don't, I don't think that Nikki's gonna end up being relevant here. Maybe not. Wasn't able to confirm it. Okay, so she will take it. And with that, it is 1-1. One, one. And Nikki, uh, I feel like she's getting the advantage in a lot of these situations, but just isn't getting the full damage. She's leaving a lot of it on the table. Uh, Sidewinder loops, I don't know how character-specific they are. I don't play soul in this game. Um, I know that each character has a different clean hit spot, but man, the damage on those is so nutty. All right, though. Game three. Once again, all matches today are going to be best of three. <laughs> best of three. Okay, okay. Round start, 2D trade into taunt. All right. Ooh, good, uh, yeah. Good pick up there. Just goes for the bandit revolver corner knockdown. Ooh, yeah, and Nikki keeps... Or I guess uh, Cliff keeps throwing out these 6Ps, and when they hit, they don't get him a ton of damage, but Nikki started to catch on and is baiting them. Wow. Quite the call out with that DP there. Did not work out. Oh, and the late hit of that projectile catching, for sure. Tried to go for a sidewinder there, but yeah. I'm, I'm not sure if uh, Nikki thought that they had a double jump and didn't, or what, to adjust height. All right, can't quite kill, but how can Cliff stay safe while pressuring here? Okay, yeah, Cliff does take it. Wasn't completely sure with the trade, but yeah, kind of figured. And with that, Cliff is one round away from taking this set. Again, this is a round robin today, so this is the only time these two players will fight, unless there's a tiebreaker later. Um, and only the top two advance. Wow, what a pickup. Okay, goes for... Yeah, gets the stun combo. Okay, yeah. Didn't recognize that burst was on the table, or was just fine with, you know, burning the burst in exchange. Sometimes when you got a lead that's as big as Nikki's is right now, you can just be like, eh, whatever. <laughs> uh, taunt takes so long. Controls so much space as long as you can get it out. And there we go, yeah, Nikki just running up, doing the late DP to try and catch a wake-up option. It's risky for sure, but hey, that works, it looks cool. There's another big 6P, yeah, it just gets the projectile slide, okay. And it looks like Cliff uh, isn't super sure how to press their advantage on knockdown. I know that a lot of the time I'll see Cliff do, like, you know, 2D taunt or whatever. I don't know if that's maybe, like, not something that works against Soul's wake-up timing, or if it's some sort of positioning-based thing, why we're not seeing it here, but... Alright, yeah, Nikki goes for the tick throw into the wild throw again, and there goes 
The final burst of cliffs for the round, for sure. For the match. Oh, Slashback's the projectile. Doesn't really change too much, it looks like. Oh, boy. Yeah, Nikki also... So, Nikki has burst, but otherwise, this is a one-hit game. Yep, there it goes. Not really anything Cliff could do there. Just kind of forced it out. Oh, and he crossed himself up, giving Nikki a chance to just recognize, press 2P, and Cliff wasn't ready to block the other way yet. So, congrats to Nikki. Taking that one 2-1. Move on to our next match.